Greetings people of the realms and welcome to the videos about the paint that I'm going to use on my armies of soul wars from Warhammer Age of Sigma. If you want to see what the soul wars box contains, I also have made an introduction and a showcase video uh, about the soul wars box containing a basic setup for the Night Haunt and the Stormcast Eternal armies, as well as the basic gear to play a battle or a skirmish match. Uh, right now, in this video, I will show you what paint I'll be using. Um, and since I mainly collect these miniatures rather than actually playing with them, the paint job is really important to me because afterwards I want to display them in my home for everybody to see. So a good paint job is really important to me. It makes a big difference. I've actually bought three boxes of paint alongside with the Soul Wars box in order to get my first miniature painted. Um, these uh, official Citadel boxes, uh, they are quite expensive, so I can't honestly recommend them um, if you are short on cash. But I personally, personally, I'd like to stick to the originals as much as possible when it comes to products to avoid problems later on. Now this particular box was 38 euros. I have noticed that uh, certain brands of hobby acrylics get the job done too for less money, but um, Citadel has a selection of colors that work really well in their collections, so I tend to stick to those because it gives you a better idea of what colors to use. For instance, uh, what color is a savage orc skin? If you have to figure that out from a mixture of whites and, and blacks, reds, yellows, that might cost a lot of uh, paint, it might even ruin some of your miniatures. And if you don't paint them all in, in all at once and you, um, you put it aside and later on you want to pick it up again and you have to mix the paint again to get the same color, that's really hard to do. So um, if you're a beginner like me, I think going for the pre-selected boxes is a good idea. Okay, down to business. This over here will be the table where all the painting will happen. Uh, I have displayed my brushes here. Um, with every box comes one brush, um, and, but these are the brushes that I already had and I, that I used for like paintings and stuff. Um, generally, you will need size one. Um, that was this big for references in my hand um, and the number uh, corresponds to the amount of hairs uh, on the tip it's not like a number one brush has one hair obviously but um, you know it's to indicate the size um, for example this is a size two well i'm not sure if you can really see the difference between one and two but if I um, put an 8 next to it, then you can see that the 8 is much bigger. Okay, well, um, I've read that for the finer details of the miniatures, you will usually need a size 1 brush and for the larger surfaces a size 2 or 3. Okay, I'm going to talk about um, the first box now that I've got, this, uh, that's the base paint box. There are four or four or five types of paints, and they're all selected for uh, various reasons. Um, and the base paint, this box, that contains the basic colors to paint the larger surfaces of your miniatures. So like uh, the skins, the weapons, um, the armor, and stuff like that. And there's also a layer paint and shade paint, uh, which do exactly that. Layer paint adds colors for uh, like light shining on your miniatures, and shade is a more wet wash for adding smooth layers of darker shades. Okay, um, I'll show you what's inside this base paint box now. Um, oh, by the way, this is the back of the box. You can see uh, what's inside. 
I also like the font because <laughs> I just like the picture of this really ugly orc that is diligently painting like another orc. <laughs> Let's open this up. Mm, this is what's inside. Now this is that uh, that one brush that I talked about that comes with every box. And um, the size is not on it. But if I remove this protective cap, I think that it'll be quite similar to my size 1 pencil. And as you can see, the tips are comparable. So I think it's a size one that comes with the box. Now there are also uh, 11 jars of paint uh, and I'll talk through them one by one. Um, first there is this brown color. This is a uh, dark brown. It's for um, your average dark wood tints. And then there's also green. And uh, it's kind of dark green, I think, for like orc skins. And um, they actually named all the colors. And uh, the green jar is called Wow Flesh. So I think the creators were also thinking about an orc while naming this paint. <laughs> and there is also uh, black and white. And those are great for. Um, mixing your other colors darker or lighter or of course if you want to paint black and white like a Dalmatian orc. Also there is blue, red and yellow and as you might know these are the basic colors um, and with these colors you can make all the other colors that there are, all the other colors that exist. Um, there is a gold tint that would be perfect for golden armor. Um, I hope you can see it on the video, but it's not the, the yellowish gold that I'm used to, but it's more like a, um, yeah, it's more like a copper color, but I like it. I'm excited to see what it turns out on the miniature, actually. Then there is this color, it's a sort of uh, steel color, you can use that for uh, regular metal armor um, and if you mix it with white it, it should um, turn out a bit silverish. There's also a lighter wood color that's called Bogman's Glow and if I hold it next to this brown color you see it's lighter and also slightly more like, reddish. And the last one is uh, called Zandri Dust and that is um, more like a sand color. It's in between, I'd say, light brown and yellow. Uh, okay, so these are all the, the base paints. Um, and like I said, usually you should paint them with a size one or two pencil or when you have a larger surface, maybe a size 2 or 3. But generally, even those need a type 1 pencil because those miniatures are so damn small. I'll show you what I mean. Um, if you look at this miniature, which is already quite large because it's actually... it's, it's two. Um, if you look at this miniature, then I'd say the largest surface of it would be the cloak and um, well, if I pick up my number one brush this is the sigil brush that came with the box so it should be the official paintbrush what you should do is you um, first you dip your brush in water well there's not really water in here but that's to get the idea um, then you roll your wet paintbrush on your palette because that way you make the tip more pointy, so it can be more precise when you're painting. Then you choose a color, let's say uh, blue, and you start painting very carefully. 
but I didn't put paint on it now. But um, the point that I'm trying to make is that, um, as you can see, the uh, um, the pleats of this cloak are already quite similar of the number one brush, the smallest brush that I have. This paint, this base paint, is only meant to be put on the miniature to give the larger surfaces their first color. And then later you just fill in the details with the other paints and I will show you that in uh, other videos. Alrighty, uh, that's it about the basic paint set. Um, now you can find color schemes all over the internet. They're like uh, guides to, uh, to tell you what colors to use for every miniature. But of course you can customize them to your own wishes. Um, for example, I have decided to, um, to not follow the color scheme for the Night Haunt, which is recommended. Um, Games Workshop um, recommends a color scheme with a lot of light blue white greenish uh, kind of colors because you know there are spooky ghosts uh, but i decided that i want to make fire haunts instead so like ghosts that are actually on fire because i think that's just really cool you know <laughs> so i will be using more uh, of um, uh, red and yellow and black and white uh, and for the uh, storm costs i'm going to try a darker approach with a lot of black metal and golden and white and purple touches and I'd like to call that color scheme the shadow cast uh, but I'll tell you more on that after my painting videos once I have a few of them actually painted and I can show you the results uh, the next videos will be a short display of the shape paint set and the layer paint set thanks for watching and until next time bye